the next presentation poster number 36 low limb vascular uh, injuries a single unit experience in a tertiary center the presenters are the authors are the Kapilan G and Aruchalan J, the presenting author Kapilan G. Good afternoon to everybody. Thank you for me to giving this opportunity for organizers. I am going to present lower limb vascular injuries in single unit experience in a tertiary center. Lower limb vascular injury is on the rise due to increase in road traffic accident. Lower limb vascular injury presenting to a single unit at National Hospital of Sri Lanka, Colombo was presented here. This was a prospective study. We have collected uh, patients' data from October 2019 to February 2020. Lower limb vascular injury with absent pulses are included in this study and also data on the demographic pattern, ischemic time and the artery injured and the what the interventions we of did and what was the outcome we were collected. And the non-viable limb and the mangled limb were excluded from this study. The results are we have included 31 patients among the 26 patients. It was 83.9 percentage of patients were male and the mean age of this is a 37.2 years and the mean ischemic time was 8.5 hours and it was uh, less time was 5 hours maximum ischemic time we have uh, offer a intervention was 24 hours there were 23 patients the um, had a popliteal artery injury it was the uh, commonest common injury and uh, the injury patterns are either contusion, laceration or spasm. The commonest cause was the road traffic accident 74.2 percentage and the next common cause was the iatrogenic injury and 80.6 percentage of time the injury was associated with fracture or dislocations and in conclusion the road traffic accident is the common cause for lower limb vascular injury the, the mean ischemic time in our study was 8.5 hours. This is more than the golden 6 hours which was um, usually practiced for a uh, trauma, for a skeletal muscle viability. In our study, we have uh, salvaged the patients uh, beyond the 6 hours. So that is suggest, uh, a good suggestion. So we can Mm, offer a uh, revascularization in a little longer time and therefore such limb can be salvaged and next uh, point was the 58 percentage of time the uh, injury is associated with spasm so it is giving a significant workload so by doing a um, giving priority of angiographies if there is a non-threatened limb so we can reduce the workload so to have to provide facilities available in the hospital thank you thank you the paper is open for discussion now uh, you said the mean ischemic time was yes. high yes. any reasons is it due to transport or yes, is it due uh, to any delays within the hospital uh, the uh, most of the patients are uh, vascular injury transferred from national hospital far away so and uh, uh, the once the patient after admitting the time taken to the transfer you know after uh, from uh, the diagnose the time taken to the theater and after exploration the time taken to the revascularization so this long time come includes the these all three the patient transferring take the patient and the time take to the revascularization thank you thank, thank let's you let's give a round of applause to the presenter